What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro back with another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use LUTs in Final Cut and how you guys can go ahead and do a color selection with a LUT or how to edit certain parts within a LUT. If all right guys, so hopping into the tutorial, we are going to go ahead and look at all of the adjustments or all of the settings here that I've done. And I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen this in the beginning of this tutorial as a demonstration, of course. I'm not gonna show you guys how to do this text thing here. Some LUTs are expensive, you have to pay for them, and some are free, you can just download. So I'm gonna show you guys um, where I got my LUTs. Um, I just went to, uh, I believe his YouTube channel name, his name is Cameron Brown. I will have his YouTube link down in the description um, along with his pack there so you guys can download it but I would suggest you guys show him some love on his YouTube channel because this is in no way am I taking credit for the LUTs uh, part of the of the tutorial so uh, the LUTs all go to him uh, obviously so once you guys download it and you extract it onto your desktop I have it here it's a folder when you open that folder up you're gonna have some executable files here that are in dot cube extension but i think you can only use dot cube file extensions in final cut pro 10. now you guys can use any file format of course in adobe premiere pro cc uh so that's obviously no headache but in final cut pro 10 there are some limitations to which lets you can use and which ones you can't all right guys so that out of the way we're gonna go into final cut pro 10 and here we have a couple of videos that i already have applied some LUTs to so i'm gonna open this compounds clip a compounds clip is pretty much a grouped clip with all videos pictures whatever it is music or whatever um so these are the clips here that i applied the lut to and as you can see there's different videos with different brightnesses different uh, brightness uh, contrast and scenarios you know scenes so uh, luts do vary depending on the clip you have so with the first one here i'm going to edit the first one i'm going to go through each one and show you guys that not all of the luts work in the same manner or in the same way so I first have a custom LUT applied, and I'm gonna show you guys how to actually add the, the LUT. So I'm gonna go into the, uh, I'm gonna delete these two. So this right here is the raw video in itself. It's, there's nothing applied, there's no color grading, there's no color correction, there's no LUTs, no effects, any of that stuff. So this is just the raw video, if I push play, it's just the raw video of someone driving through, um, I don't know what this is, like a rainforest or something. Uh, so or the jungle so i'm gonna go into the effects here and go to all video and audio and just type in custom lut and just drag the lut into the first video or onto any of the clips you want to add a lut to now in the custom lut here you can go ahead and choose a lut so most of the time it's gonna set on none if you guys have some luts that you've already been using final cut pro 10 will remember to keep them here so it helps you uh save time and stuff uh, so we're probably not going to have this. It's totally fine. So you guys can go to recent. You can do choose custom LUT, which is where you want to click on. So click on choose custom LUT. Once you guys are here, you want to go ahead and navigate to the actual LUT uh, pack that you guys downloaded. This doesn't have to be the exact LUT that I showed you guys in this tutorial. It could be any other LUT packs as long as they end in dot cube. So you can select either of these. You can select multiple ones, but you can select individual ones and you can cycle through each and see which one you like the best but when you cycle through all of them and you go to uh you know you go you've gone through all of them final cut will keep them here so you guys don't have to go through the folder again and look through them which saves you so much time so we can do the first one which is f8700 so we can do standard so this is just going to be the standard LUT here nothing too crazy however like i said not all LUTs look good on all videos and um, certain LUTs look good on some videos, but not all. So you have to play around with the LUTs and stuff and with your type of video and, and what's in the video it's, itself. So since it's in the jungle and there's a lot of highlights, it kind of makes it dark, like if you're filming at night. So we're not going to do this one because it doesn't really work with the footage. So we can do the second one, which is a log. This one looks a little bit better. Uh, it's a little bit more contrasty. It's a little bit darker. Uh, now, when you guys are adding the LUTs, you want to make sure that you go to here to convert and you have an input and an output. The input is what you guys are inputting. So our video right now, and most videos nowadays film in Rec.709. And that's just like a standard 
um, I think it's like a color profile. So you can do certain ones if you filmed in that type of color profile. Now the output here is what you want to output it to. You usually want to keep it to the same as you recorded it in. And then mix here, it can go ahead and adjust the strength of the LUT itself. So we can go ahead and go to zero, which has no LUT applied, and you can increase it gradually. So you can do maybe 65. I usually keep it around 60 to uh, one, which is one being the maximum or 100%. So I would just leave everything just how it is. Just keep this at 0 0.65 or 60, whatever you want. Uh, so logs look pretty good with this footage. You can do standard, like I said. Standard doesn't look very good with this video, but just cycle through each one and see which one looks best for your clip. So the LUT desk looks great on this video. However, it's too bright, and you can always adjust this here in the mix. However, when you are changing the mix here, you're only decreasing the strength of the LUT. You're not actually changing the brightness here. So you're gonna have to go in into the color board or the color wheels and adjust that manually. But when you go to the color inspector and you change or add some color corrections, you are not editing the actual LUT, but the video itself. So it's a little bit tedious, but it works either way. So you can do LUT, uh, the Dusk 1, you can do Dusk 5, uh, you can do Nature. Nature is really nice, it looks a little bit more natural in my opinion. It looks a little bit more cinematic, more of like a vlog film or a short film vlog or something like that. You can do Urban 1, Urban 2. And my favorite one, which is the M31 log. And this one looks the most cinematic and the most realistic with its natural colors, in my opinion. So we can do a before and after. So you can see that it looks good, but we kind of want to make it a little bit brighter. And we can't do that in the mix. You can increase it, but it just makes it more saturated. But we want to make it a little bit more, like I said, bright. So we're going to go into this right here, and we're going to add a color correction. So if you guys are running on an older version of Final Cut, you're going to have the original color board, which is totally fine. It's doable. Sometimes it's easier for people. But if you guys want to be more exact with your color corrections, you can go to the right to where it says no corrections and add. You can do go to the down arrow and go to add correction. You can do a color wheel, a color curve, or hue slash saturation curves. So each one has its own pros and cons. However, I'm going to go with the color wheels. And here you can adjust... Uh, the color, but this doesn't necessarily adjust the exposure So we're gonna have to go back to the color board and we're gonna go back to exposure here So we only want to make this brighter, but not affect the color itself So just go to the sat the uh, not the saturation go to exposure and you can increase the shadows However, when you increase the shadows you can tell that it's gonna make it washed out so we can decrease it a little bit and increase the highlights here by you can do a lot or a little bit. I'm gonna do some around here. So now you can see before and after with the color uh, correction applied. And I think that looks, it makes it look a little bit more interesting and a lot more vibrant, if that makes sense. So that's only the first clip, but let's say we have a separate clip or a different clip that we wanna apply it to. So I'm gonna reset this parameter. So this is without any LUTs applied or any effects, color grading or color correction. So you can see that the, the scene is different. You can see there's more, I would say, uh, browns in the video. A little bit, not that many greens and a little bit of blue. Whereas this one has a lot of green and a lot of blue in the video with the sky. So if we were to add the same LUT here, which is N31 log, uh, we can see, we can go to LUT here and we can do N31 log. It will be very, very strong. And we can decrease this to about 65. So we can do something like that. And there you go. So you can see how it looks different. It doesn't look exact, obviously, because it's a different scene, a different location. But some some LUTs do look good and some don't. So you can do like urban. Urban is going to look a little bit too, I think, in my opinion, too saturated, a little bit too orange. So you can go to the urban two. That's too bright now. You can do dusk. So you can cycle through. However, if you want to adjust certain, you know, the, like if you want to adjust the exposure in certain LUTs, just go with the color board here and adjust it that way. So you guys have some flexibility. So you can do log. This one looks really nice. It looks very natural in my opinion. So I'm gonna stick with this one here. And like I said, you can increase this a little bit more if you want. And that's pretty much how you uh, f you know, add it with the custom lot there. So certain clips here like this one, uh, this one is has a lot of brightness already. So. This is without the color board and this is with it applied. We increase the brightness in the shadows there. 
But when you do that, it makes it a little bit ex kind of weird because it's not consistent throughout the video. So it looks a little bit weird. Uh, but like I said, it's just it just takes some time to uh, mess around with some of the tools here and some of the settings. So this is without a LUT here applied and it looks already good. You don't really need a LUT, but if you want to make it more cinematic, just enable a LUT there and you can select and choose what you want. So this one here as well, this one is the same one as the first clip. It has an N31 log and this is without any of the effects applied. So this is with a LUT. You can see how much more cinematic a video can look if you add LUTs. So like I said, if you want to adjust certain values here, like I went ahead and selected or I did a mask here and I just selected some of the green here. I can just click and drag and this will select everything within that color range of the greens. You can increase the softness a little bit and you can go into the color board and you can do view masks and the white is what is being selected and the black is not being selected. So you can see what values we're changing and if we go here and we go to let's say we want to make this a little bit more bright we can increase those uh, greens there everything that's masked out except the rock there we can do that as well so we, maybe we want let's say the the video was like this can you want to make it a little bit darker without adjusting any of the other browns in the video or blue well you can just drag this down and you can make that a lot darker or maybe you want to adjust the midtones so you can do something like that and maybe you want to make this a little bit more I don't know saturated or a little bit dark in the shadows so you can do something like that you can make it a little bit more saturated like I said you can do a desaturated you're gonna you can go black and white uh, if you want black and white you have to adjust the globals there and you can see how that looks like so it does select a little bit of it but it's totally fine it's kind of like Photoshop with the mask tool but that's pretty much it not too much uh, when it comes to LUTs. Um, it's just uh, a matter of play playing around with the settings, adding some color corrections to your video. And this will really, really amp your video skills um, along with your short films. It just, it just makes it more cinematic and a lot more interesting. And it looks sexy. I mean, no one can deny that. So be sure to leave a like, guys, if you, if you guys are liking these tutorials. Subscribe, turn on the bell notification to receive weekly videos, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.